Hi guys, in this tutorial we will continue this function and start creating the model class for the models and do other work. So let's get started. For that let's create a new file in here and let's name it models model.dart and then in here create class name it models model like that and here see small like that and then we will be using the final string id this is what i care about if you want to read something else we can add for example um, created out or the root so i'll show you the response here again in, in our case as i said we need the id and that's it you can access the root which is here and the created out object and so on Okay, so in my case, I will get these three arguments. So I will paste it here and create the model constructor. Now, one more thing, if you remember, I will copy this, go here and go to the JSON to Dart parser and paste our code here and generate Dart. In here, you have this constructor, this factory constructor in here, which is will get the data from JSON and convert it to your model that you want. So in our case, we will be using the ID created at and the root. Let's get back. And in here, let's create a factory constructor and we call the class name, then call from JSON. You can name it whatever you want. And in here, it will take a map, because the response is a map, string, and it will be dynamic. And in here, we can name it uh, JSON. You can name it whatever you want. And then you can return in here your models model. Let's format it first. Okay, so for the ID, you can access this, this is JSON, and access the ID. Okay? Like that. I know for now it's not very clear. When we finish this code, it will be better. Okay? So first one would be the ID. Then we will have the root. And then we will have the created at. Like that. Now in the API service, I want to return a list of models. So instead of void, let's return a list of models model and I got an error because we need to return something here we can return for example the JSON response but we need to return something that make sense and of course this is an error because the type is different so what we can do is and the models model we can create a new function in order to do the work so what I'm, I'm going to do is to create a static method and uh, it will return a list of models model. Okay, I will name it models from snapshot and it will take an argument uh, list and I will name it here model snapshot. Okay. In here, I'm getting an error because we need to return something. So let's stop over the model snapshot and map over it, like Lupin. And then here we can return something or this, this arrow, it means that we are returning something. So we can directly write it here like that. And then we can call from JSON this constructor that we made here. And then we need to give it our data like that and then we need to convert this to a list here we need to convert it to a list and that's it and the error is gone okay to make sense i will name this data okay so this data is actually our map here and its name is data also Perfect. So now I will go to the API service 
and in here we can return what we wrote so let's type models model dot models from snapshot and now we need to give it a list so what we can do is create an empty list and I will name it temp initially empty and then we can loop over the JSON response data okay as I said this data is a list it has multiple models it has a lot of models so what I'm gonna do is to type for var i and json response and in here we access the data okay then let's add to it i okay or i can name this i for example value okay and what i'm gonna do is to print it here so let's say for example temp value and then it will be printed now to, to show it clearly I will use log okay and I will comment this and in here I will use also log like that and I will comment this and I will give it to this temp perfect now I will restart the application oh still having an error because we didn't return anything if we have an error so we can use the throw like that the error that now is gone i know you might not understand this clearly now i will just restart the application test it and then i will explain again everything for you so restart it and then press here and let's see perfect so this log is being called okay and we have too much things in here we have all the models so now to make it clearer for you what i'm gonna do is to print data id so basically i will loop over this list the data list and print all the ids okay so in order to do this let's add the value like that and give it the id like that and uh, to not forget we need to add this now i will start the application better press here and let's wait as you can see here we have the list of the models okay so now it might be clear for you so we have the list of the models like that what what i did here basically is to initialize an empty list and i append all the data items to this list and this list i passed it to our snapshot this function so here we have we give it this list and in here we are looping over this list which is basically the temp list that it has all of these data and in here we are calling the factory constructor that it will have access to the id the root and everything so basically these two is similar to what i printed in here so this temp it has the values only without the ids and then we used it here and then we loop over this list and then we use this from json in order to get our data okay i hope that it's clear enough for you now and if it's not please feel free to ask anything and again i hope that you already watch the course that i told you about so i really hope that you already watch this course it's freely available and i explained more in details in this course so i hope that you check it out okay so now i think uh, it would be better to stop working here and in the next tutorial we will start implementing the provider class and we will start showing our data and the drop down widget okay i'll see you in the next one